Good morning. The topic which we are going to handle today is how to open a wholly owned subsidiary in India if you are a foreign parent entity and what are the activities permitted as a wholly owned subsidiary in India. So if you want to set up a business in India through a wholly owned subsidiary in India as a foreign entity then what are the activities involved and what are the activities permitted in India. I am going to cover the basic details. So without much of a delay, let's start with a growing expectation of a 5 trillion economy of India. India become the hub of investment of every country, any country and every continent. So if you want to set up a business in India, then what are the basic problems and what are the basic sets of things which needs to be solved with? Like what is the wholly owned subsidy? An incorporated entity formed and registered under Companies Act 2013. It is generally a private limited company for a closely held shareholding. It is a distinct and legal entity apart from its shareholder. The basic concept of wholly owned subsidy is investment in India route. So permitted activities in the wholly owned subsidy is any activities as stipulated in the object clause of the memorandum of association of the Indian company subject to Indian laws and regulations. So you can do anything through wholly owned subsidy. What is the process for setting up a wholly owned subsidy? A private limited company to be incorporated requires minimum two shareholders and two directors. The minimum share capital requirement has to be done away with now a days. So you do not have to keep a minimum capital requirement apart from a minimal capital requirement. No requirement of track record of parent company. No requirement of track record of parent company. So irrespective of your track record of profits or losses, you can set up a wholly owned subsidy in India and do the business in India as per your will. The company at the time of incorporation and during the entire tenure and its existence has to compulsory, compulsorily have an Indian executive director on the board. So if you want to set up a wholly owned subsidiary in India and want to do any kind of a business, any kind of activities, then you need to have a director of Indian continent or Indian residentship to be present over in your company as an Indian director. So this is the requirement which needs to be complied with. Apart from this liability of entity, the liability of the parent company is limited to the extent of its shareholding in the wholly owned subsidy or joint venture. The asset of the parent company are not subject to any attachment as compared to license office, branch office or anything else. So this is the best suitable way if you want to set up a business in India and want to explore your business in India over here. So what are the post registration requirements? You need to obtain a pen card, 10 card of the branch uh, to, of the wholly owned subsidy. You also need to have a GSTN number for wholly owned subsidy. Shop establishment laws depend on state to state import export code. If you are doing an import export code, then you need to take that. You need to take professional tax as per the needs. So if you want to have a profitable journey for your business, then you must start your wholly owned subsidy. Permitted incomes from wholly owned subsidies, all incomes arising out of business in India, all income arising out of India is permitted. Borrowings allowed from financial institution in India. External commercial borrowing are subject to RBI approvals. So these all kinds of things is being allowed to you. What are the annual compliances of a wholly owned subsidy? Statutory auditor by a chartered accountant tax audit in case of turnover exceeds 1 crore rupees. Annual filing of accounts and annual return with ROC through a company secretary. Annual compliance with, R with RBI in case of shares allotted to foreign persons. Then it needs to be complied with a company secretary through RBI. Filing of quarterly returns, TDS returns, quarterly annual GST returns, filing for annual income tax, conducting of board meetings, at least one meeting per quarter, one board meeting with at least two directors physically present together for approval of accounts. This can be done with a help of a company secretary. Minimum one shareholder meeting annually for approval of accounts and appointment of auditor through a company secretary. So India is a landmark opportunity. If you want to establish your business in India and want to take the advantages of the Indian continent, then this is the right time and wholly owned subsidy is the best possible way. Repatriation of funds to parent company by way of dividend on payment of DDT, by way of royalty fees for technical fees, by way of management fees, related party transaction point two and three, subject to transfer pricing regulation. So you need to take care of that. 
So India is a nurturing way for your wholly owned subsidy. If you want to establish your business in wholly owned subsidy, is the best possible way. So uh, what are the advantages of wholly owned subsidy? Separate legal entity for Indian operations, separate legal entities for Indian operations as compared to your parent company. Limited liability as the liability of the or assets of the parent company is not at risk. Limited liability is over there, lower tax rate. You can freely borrow funds from Indian institution. This is a big way. This is the most beneficial way you can borrow the funds from Indian institutions. External commercial borrowings are subject to RBI approvals. And if it is being done, then you need or do you have, then you have the option to get more of the funds infusion in your company. Future collaboration with Indian investor partner is possible only for Indian operations. It is easily possible and freely expanding your business activities by altering memorandum of association. You can change any time your memorandum of association. So friends, if you want to set up a wholly owned subsidy or you have any query related to what are the documents required for setting up a wholly owned company or wholly owned subsidy in India of your parent company and what are the ways of doing the same, you can get in touch with me over the email ID. You can drop your email over me for your queries, for your questions. You can also ask your questions over through WhatsApp also. My number is 9906942300. 9906942300 plus 9109964230. You can also subscribe my channel. Please hit the bell button and also do comment your post or do comment your opinions like what kind of business you have. If you have any query, you can also drop in and as comments. I can surely help you with the same. And please take it a note that this is not an advertisement at all this is just a tutorial like how to establish a wholly owned subsidy in india thank you so much <laughs>